Hey guys, what is going on? Balls here. So today you're probably thinking, what's going on? This isn't your normal position. That's because I'm filming something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be showing you guys my actual gaming setup, which is just over here. So obviously before I show you what is going on over there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like what you see and subscribe to more videos. But let's get straight into it. So coming over here, this is casually what you see when you come over. Now I've just sat down, but I'm going to actually show you what I sit on because what I sit on is quite a big part of my gaming setup I guess. So it's actually the uh, DX racer chair. I got a red one which is really nice. It goes well with my top. <laughs> but yeah this is like an amazing amazing chair. That's like the base of it. The chair. Nothing else to it really. It does actually have a um, head pillow that goes here but I'm too sure it doesn't fit my head very well so I just have the bottom pillow there which is really damn comfortable but yeah turning around so what i'm going to do is actually show you from the bottom so as you can see down here one thing i want to say please don't get offended by my cable management i know it's awful okay but anyway down here we got my xbox one at the bottom there this bad boy was used more than i've used any playstations ever uh i was big on the old advanced warfare back in the day absolutely love that thing but yeah coming up to my what console i use now my ps4 pro um it's absolutely amazing yeah it's a playstation i love it <laughs> but coming across we've got some boxes i actually have my xbox controller in there got some little green control freaks on it and that's i know i got it in the wrong box it should be in that box but i yeah i messed up yeah we'll ignore that <laughs> but yeah moving on from there we have uh, a lot of wires i do apologize for that i am planning on sorting it all out but it takes time and at the moment i don't want to do it <laughs> but down here we can actually see we got my elgato capture card that's what i use to get a little bit dusty ignore that that's what i use to get all of the footage of my console from to actually record my videos and then we've got a million wires and yeah i like the color blue so moving along here's my pc if i get the wires out of the way -da! there we go that's my PC. I absolutely love it. It looks... Oh, that's my slipper. It doesn't look as big as it is. If I put my hand there, it's, it's, it's pretty big, you know? So if we take a little look inside, we can see the CPU's in that little thing there. And then we got a fan up there. A water cooler is it, somewhere up there. I won't bore you with the rest of it. If you want to know the specs for this thing, it's going to be down in the description down below. So that's that. And we want to come up a bit. So over here we have my trusty, all my wires, my phone cable for when I want to sit with my phone on charge. Biggest thing ever, having that. And then you can see I've got a keyboard here. Not the keyboard you thought, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I used to play piano a really lot and I'm trying to get into it. It's good fun. Yeah, and we move up. We got my, my PlayStation controller, little Destiny control fix. I absolutely love this thing. It's a controller, just a cash one, you know does the trick amazing <laughs> moving along we actually have my microphone that i use now this is the blue snowball not the yeti i always accidentally go to call it the yeti but that's like a more advanced one i just have this one but i couldn't say a bad thing about this it it works amazingly it does exactly what i want it to do and it's not a bad price i think i got this for about 40 or 50 pound which for a microphone of its quality is not bad at all it's not on because as you can see the wire there i unplug it because it has a uh, big old bright light that doesn't turn off at all unless you unplug it so yeah i, I keep it off <laughs> until i need to film a video and then moving across we have my astro a40 headset again this thing is absolutely amazing it was a christmas present and the best headset i've ever 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 owned in my life it comes with this little mix amp here, which again is amazing. As you can see, you've got these little toggles here. So when I'm playing with friends, I go like that because it basically prioritizes the voice of them over the game sound. So it's really good. That just changes the overall volume. And when it's double red, it means that it's muted. So if I press the button, which is just there, connected to the headset, boom, I'm muted. I'm muted. So simple. It's really basic. 
connecting all these wires again I'm not going to bore you with all of that it basically enables me to listen to PlayStation and PC at the same time which is such a big thing for me but hang on a minute I don't know why I don't keep switching around but yeah it, it's such a big thing to me to actually be able to listen to PC and to PlayStation at the same time because a lot of the time when I'm editing and stuff I get a little bit bored so I'm like rather me uh, <laughs> let me play a cheeky game in between so obviously I don't have to keep on switching over wires and stuff it's just nice and simple and uh, vice versa actually when I'm playing games sometimes I get a little bit bored or I'm like oh let me make a thumbnail or something so I can listen use my PC play music while I'm playing games when for something like Fortnite or something it's quite nice to listen to some music and chill play sometimes not take it so serious otherwise the game gets boring but yeah back to the gaming stuff so I'll flip that camera back around so we'll go to the monitors this one up here on screen it's Kingdom Hearts 2 I've just started it I can't say if I'm liking it or not because this is literally the first mission it's telling me to move forward um, but Kingdom Hearts 1 was amazing and 3 is out in I believe a week or so so I'm trying to smash out this game anyway monitor it's a Samsung that's about all I know it's 24 inch and it's damn beautiful the colors lovely on the back it's got HDMI slots and other slots that I make it possible to what's it called connected to that yeah pretty nice pretty snazzy screen going on to my other screen this is only a 19 inch I want to say this is a this is a HP one uh, zoom focus whatever it's called yep HP yep we got it HP Samsung all that good stuff this one's what I use for my PC, but also this one is connected. So if I show you, so I just have to click two little buttons there. But -da! now it's on PC. And then we just but -da! back to PlayStation. Nice. So that is super super useful for me, especially like when I'm editing and stuff. I need both monitors because it's really hard. Props to anyone that can edit on one screen and then get pictures and put it all in. It's hard work. So well done to you. <laughs> But I'm too lazy for that. So moving up, uh, above my monitor, you can see my webcam that I use. Now, if I zoom in a bit, because it's not really... Come on, camera. This is meant to be a good camera. It's the Logitech C320, I want to say. Again, I'll put it down in the description so you can see what it properly is. But yeah, this webcam is pretty good. I mean, I use it through OBS. Now, OBS is a really amazing software. But yeah, this camera that you see me filming this on is actually what I used to film all of my videos on. All my face cams back up from like a year, two years ago. You can still see them videos, they're still on my channel. I actually used this camera and I really liked it, but the amount of times that I would film a video and the camera battery would be like, ah, we ran out of charge. So that sucked. So I had to get obviously that bad boy up there and yeah it's done me good it's it's a good webcam i've had little issues with it like with the actual software itself but apart from that recommend good little webcam but yeah moving over again i mean one of the last things actually for this setup is my light now it's off but i'll show you a clip now of actually what it's like on uh yeah this is actually a recent purchase on the back got like little toggles which you turn it on and adjust the brightness with they're the battery packs now I actually have two of these the little uh, rechargeable pack dock thing so I keep flipping them around so when they die like in one of my last videos in my in my black art video if you haven't seen it go check it out my uh, my little light ran out on me so my face at the start looked very different to <laughs> at the end but yeah with this thing I actually have this uh, soft box it literally I can't no way do it with one hand but you open it like that you sit it on there and it looks something like that it's really good because it means that your face doesn't look super harsh so if I turn it on now and turn it around to me when I'm sitting here Okay, this camera actually picks it up quite well, but when I'm sitting here with the Logitech webcam that I have, it makes me look so overexposed, it's quite bad. This camera looks nice with this light though. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, you can all that. Softbox is really good, but this camera is doing the softbox no justice, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I forgot almost one of the most important parts of this whole thing, and that's actually my keyboard and mouse. So now, uh, oh, and the mouse pad, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's a raised one. Razor mouse, absolutely love it. It's got two buttons on the side there. 
Yep, never used them before, but I absolutely love the smells. It's light, it's soft, it's smooth, it's comfortable. Fits my hand nicely because I have a pretty small hand, even though they look quite big on this camera. But yeah, that's nice. And then matching to that, we have my keyboard. Again, Razer, I want to say something like Def Adder, Daf Def something. It's a clicky keys and it does funky colours, but I have it just on green for the Razer logo. Sorry, I'm a bit boring like that. <laughs> but that's how I have it. And yeah, I absolutely love that. I do actually have little LEDs in the background there. Behind my monitors, which are really super nice. They give it a nice little glow. Camera doesn't like to pick up light unless it's that light up there <laughs> so i apologize but yeah it's pretty nice and then i just have bits and bobs pretty much everywhere now i am um, let me put this now i was actually thinking before i filmed this to tidy up a bit and then i thought why did i tidy up my desk the, the whole point of making this video for you guys to see my gaming setup not my gaming setup tidied up so i thought you know what i'm going to show you guys all the little bits and bobs i have hanging around because i like this stuff okay so Really quickly, we have my pops. I have a million and one pops around my room. I absolutely love them. I'm not going to go into too much detail about them because that's a whole other subject. But yeah, we have them. Love them. We have a little camera that I got back there. Back when I went in Cologne, we have a lovely little cup holder. Wait, the light is not reflecting that very well. We have a lovely little cup holder of me and my fiance. It was on his graduation day for the RSPCA. So that's it's there. We have little stones there. Stones. I mean, they're only there because I like them, because I got them from Turkey. Um, yeah, there's a few actually sitting under there, see? <laughs> and then we got this little cute Ipatuti sitting on top, because he's absolutely amazing. We got badges from Pokemon, a little snow, a little snowball, he's not a snowball. He's a uh, French Bulldog, because I love dogs. No dog's as beautiful as my little dog. Wiggle it for a picture on the screen now of him. But yeah, that is pretty much the setup. I mean, down here we just got a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff. Really, we have my Wi-Fi password because when you're sitting at your computer, you need your Wi-Fi password at all times. And then we have little little face cam, normal little things for when I'm editing. Oh, camera! Here we go, finally. So when I'm actually editing, it's got the basically the actual sizes of what I need to change the face cams to. We got another one there because in my videos, you probably notice sometimes the, uh, this camera. But yeah, so basically in my videos, you see that my face cam actually goes from like bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, and all this. They're basically them sizes. And it's to get the face cam to actually go to the right hand side for one of my uh, Fortnite videos. So they always look the same really. And I don't always have the wrong sends. But yeah, I, I don't think I've left anything out. If I've left anything out, shout it down in the comments. I am sorry if I have. But that has been my gaming setup. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said earlier, if you do enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe to me for more. It means a damn lot to me. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. See ya.